X Builders Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the X Builders Podcast. Today, I have with me uh, Jack from Cyberpunk City. So, hello, Jack. How are you? Uh, hello, Razvan. Thank you for having me. Sure. So, uh, let's jump in by uh, giving uh, a quick introduction about uh, yourself and uh, Cyberpunk City. Okay, so uh, first, yeah, I, I thank you for uh, uh, having me before, sure. but I want to thank you once more. Uh, this uh, great opportunity uh, informs a lot of people about uh, many different projects, uh, gives some insight. Uh, I watched uh, a little bit of like a trailer for uh, an, an upcoming interview with, uh, I think, uh, Stefan, his name? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we published that. Yeah, yep. yeah, and uh, yeah, I think these things are are great, and what you're doing is a great job. So yeah, first of all, uh, I am uh, Jack, and I'm the community and marketing manager of Cyberpunk City. And um, before I joined uh, Cyberpunk City, I was a uh, teacher for a very long time, and uh, I had some uh, marketing um, experience too. And uh, I am interested. I was interested in blockchain, and the first time I was introduced to it, um, maybe was like five or six years ago. Uh, Genchet and Halil, they are uh, our co-founders. They were, uh, and they're still my close friends. And uh, they talked about this call, this thing called Digibyte, and I was like uh, very interested and. Uh, so I started investing in Digibyte, and then um, after that, I uh, uh, invested in other things with my brother. But we lost a lot of things, and you know how things go with the uh, yeah. cryptocurrency. And uh, then I decided to take the um, to take things on my hand and join and start working with this. So I joined the Cyberpunk City team. So, uh, from what I understand, you joined the Multiverse X ecosystem through Cyberpunk City, right? You, yeah, uh huh, yeah. So uh, I joined around six or seven months ago, and again, Halil and Gancher they uh, talked to me and they said, uh, "Hey, you know, do you wanna do you wanna join this project? And we are building something like this." And I was like. I was like hooked instantly and I was like, yeah, yeah of course, it sounds exciting. And uh, yeah, then uh, I joined the, the project and I understood that it's really important to be uh, patient in this, uh, in, in my field of expertise, like uh, to being a, um, a uh, community manager and like, or marketing manager, but community most of the time you have to be patient and from my background in in uh, in teaching uh, I think I didn't have any problem with that because you know you get sometimes the same questions over and over and over <laughs> and you feel like uh, it's something that you wouldn't like to do but for me it's not a problem I really can ask uh, I can answer a question three four ten <laughs> hundred times and I wouldn't feel yeah. bored so for me it's like not a problem and I think uh, it's actually a good thing to be able to help people and to get also some feedback and learn from them. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's start uh, with uh, a, ver a very, let's start by defining uh, kind of the, the metaverse concept uh, because you mm -hmm. guys are, are reading a, a metaverse. So Metaverse is kind of a new uh, term. Everyone has kind of a new definition for it. Everyone has its its own meaning for, for it, really. So how would you define uh, the Metaverse and um, what benefits or opportunities do you see it uh, offering in the future? Hmm. Well, uh, I, I actually love this question. I think it's a really nice question. Um, uh, I, I think it's really, really hard to define the metaverse because it doesn't have like a shape now it doesn't have like yeah. a like a concrete solid uh, framed um, uh, it doesn't have it's an abstract thing yeah uh, so it's really really hard to define 
but uh, for me it's a mix between what we can do in real life versus what we can't do in real life uh, put together so that you're able to do more than you could and uh, uh, there is a there is a saying in in um, Ready Player One maybe you have watched that movie uh, there is a it's just like a metaverse uh, kind of movie and uh, there's a saying they they go like this people come to the metaverse for the things that they can do but they stay for the thing for the whom they can be so you can be whoever you want in the metaverse you yeah. can do whatever you want in the metaverse and uh, the, uh, the possibilities are endless right yeah. and uh, I, I don't think I remember the second part of the question uh, like, what benefits do you see, uh, like the metaverse as a concept? Uh, what mm -hmm. benefits or opportunities it can bring well, in the future? Well, it, it can provide um, lots of tools. Like, it can uh, help with education. It can increase the, uh, like, we, we now in, a, in, in these days or in this uh, age, we, we lack socialization we don't socialize with people as much but I think metaverse will um, will eradicate those those borders those lines that we have between each other and we will be able to communicate and socialize better as if we are in real life and probably it will provide even the touch that you know you can touch a person in the metaverse but that's a, a long time from now but I would emphasize, emphasize on the education part I think it would be um, it's it's a uh, one of the biggest thing that uh, metaverse can provide yeah so now that we set kind of a, a baseline of uh, who you are what you do and uh, kind of the the, the things you, you are building let's uh, jump a little deeper and uh, Provide us with an overview of uh, of Cyberpunk City and uh, what are what are you you building over there? Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you know, uh, Cyberpunk City is a metaverse and um, uh, it's built on Unreal Engine Five. Uh, it's a uh, video game tool made by um, Epic Games and. Um, the quality, the graphics are really high in Cyberpunk City. Um, I mean, with the Unreal Engine 5, you can do some things that um, no one imagined that can be done. And uh, with the things, the new technology that it has, like the lumens, the, like the uh, the, uh, um, the, the 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 tra ray tracing, the uh, well, there are so many other things that I really don't understand myself. <laughs> uh, the dev developers, they talk, the developers, they talk about them yeah. often, and uh, I, I think it will change the way we do things. Um, it will it will help create a more immersive uh, mm -hmm. environment, more kind of a realistic environment. The third thing, the second thing, is that we are. Uh, uh, we integrated Wallet Connect uh, to our metaverse, so everything you do inside the metaverse is related to Wallet Connect. You could just do transactions, you could um, at the same time do um, uh, swaps or uh, whatever. You can live, yeah. see the live uh, f um, price of things, you can just exchange items. Uh, and the security is really, really high in multiverse. And uh, I keep saying multiverse X. I don't know why. It's still in my head, Cyberpunk City. So yeah, uh, these are the things. And uh, also the um, the third part is that uh, Cyberpunk City is um, based on ownership. It's important for Cyberpunk City to have ownership. We really own our assets. Like unlike mm -hmm. uh, the Web Two games. Um, which they don't allow you to own anything they just the company owns everything and uh, cyberpunk city you own your assets you this is what you have you have an NF sft or an nft and then uh, you can enter the game with it and mm -hmm. uh, you can play games of course in cyberpunk city you can socialize um, you we have 
a three we have three sets of nfts we have citizen nfts uh, we have city nfts we have uh, cases and the second second phase of the mint is coming close it's uh, on the 30th of may so uh, stay tuned for that and i think also you have another mint coming soon or you already started it with the no, female we, giant no we already started it but it's we already started yeah it's kind of a, a different type of mint there because uh, we previously uh, sold some some potions and right now it's just kind of using those those potions so mm -hmm. well, it's like uh I, I know that you are burning the male giants, like half of them, and uh, yeah, yeah, then together, the other the half is... And... Yeah. yeah uh, I don't yeah. know the potions exactly, but I think I understand the concept. Yeah, so yeah. you basically burn a male and a potion, and you, you kind of mean the female, so... Uh, you yeah. burn a male to get a female, that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the ideal scenario, but... I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I like the idea. I like the idea. Don't do that in, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm also curious, like, how big is your team? Because I, I know you, you have quite some, quite a few members. Yeah, we we have 15 members, and uh, I think the uh, one of the strongest, uh, like, let's say, assets that we have is our team. Uh, because our team is in the office, most of the teams they um, they work remotely. But our office is in team. We have 15 members. Uh, 12 are in the office and three are remotely, because they work in different countries. And mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, the team is big, and uh, I think the advantages of having an in an in-office team is that you can always brainstorm ideas you can always uh, talk about the project even when you are like having lunch or uh, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah so shout yeah. out to the team uh, they are the uh, the most dedicated people I have ever seen uh, I am serious about that period and uh, I, I always thought that I am a hard worker before when I were, used to work like 15, 16 hours, I was like, okay, I'm doing Elon Musk schedule. But <laughs> when I came here, I understood how much they work. It's like they take it to the next level. Yeah. So but yeah. How many, how many developers out of those 15? We, we have four developers. Uh, well, everyone, well, we have, well, many people are experienced with developing. But uh, like some of them are graphic designers, some of them um, uh, are mm -hmm. uh, like one is a community manager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the yeah. co-founders co they hope they have also expertise in development, but mm -hmm. it's it's hard to like uh, give a, an exact number. But uh, I would I would say four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So uh, we we also have remote like these are in the office. The one I talked yeah. about. Yeah. 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 So uh, what's the the status of the project right now? Well, uh, our our token is uh, um, like this is when I want to want to where I want to start. Our token mm -hmm. is uh, is um, seven x the uh, the pre sale price, which is. I guess it's something good and to be proud of. And then uh, the second thing is the, I think the community is happy and thriving. Uh, of course, they are always like thinking about alpha and uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, when they alpha. always, yeah, when alpha, exactly. And always <laughs> talking about that. So yeah. So I think the status of the, uh, of the project is, is going well. Uh, we have a uh, few, uh, partnerships that might be coming mm -hmm. soon might be uh, yeah I cannot disclose more <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah everything is going perfect and yeah yeah I mean usually in, especially in here like in, in web3 projects and in, on multiverse sex people are very very like impatient and excited about stuff they just you, you announce something and the next day they just ask about the next thing <laughs> so, exactly 
it, but yeah, it, it is what it is. It, it, yeah. it is what it is. No complaints, nothing. It's it's no, it's good. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, like, uh, you said that you can't talk about much, but uh, what's the next big thing that the community should should expect next? Uh, so, or at least yeah. in what area, if you don't want to, to talk about it? Well, uh, the biggest thing is the alpha, actually. Like, uh, mm -hmm. f for a project to a, to launch a successful alpha is a a challenge of itself. Yeah, of course. because um, like alpha by any means doesn't mean a um, a full product. Doesn't mean a, a free bug uh, project. It's actually the opposite it means it's a project that is uh you know that has bugs that uh yeah. that has to be uh managed that has to be you know uh, monitored over and yeah. over to to make a a really nice product so yeah the alpha now the trailer also the people waiting for the trailer we which will we um release on the 23rd and after that, the mint, of course, it's on the 30th. We have the second phase mint. Uh, the snapshot is not really that something of a big deal, but also the community is waiting for it, especially for those yeah. city NFT holders. But uh, on the 6th of May, 6th of uh, June, there will be the, mm -hmm. the alpha. So mark that day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, releasing, uh, I don't know, a, a game or a metaverse or a, a product in, in general, uh, it's done in, in uh, different steps. It's not just you work on it and in the first day you release the fully ready for production with yeah. free of bugs and uh, with a perfect user experience. Uh, no, it, it's usually a, a process and it's usually best to do it in in small steps just because mm -hmm. usually inside your team you won't be able to make it perfect uh, bug free with a seamless ux you usually kind of need that early feedback so exactly you need to release it as fast as possible with as many yeah. i mean a usable version not like un unusable <laughs> yeah. but a minimum kind of viable product that user can, exactly. users can uh, test and report bugs, provide feedback, and yeah. uh, help you uh, reach a, yeah. a good point. Yeah, testing with the community is better t than testing. Like this is my own opinion. Maybe it's different than the uh, development case, but I think testing with the community is uh, is better because it, it's like having. I don't know, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 people instead of having just four, five, six people trying to test by themselves. Yeah, that's one thing, but also like you get, even if you would test with, I don't know, three members of the community, you get a, a fresh pair of eyes. Exactly. Uh, trying it, uh, because kind of you know how it sh it's supposed to work, you don't press on random buttons or <laughs> do random exactly. actions. So a exactly. uh, user will, will do that and will break it. And <laughs> then, I mean, yeah. you, you know what to, to fix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's a process and it, it is what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we need to enjoy it. So uh, what's in your opinion uh, the most exciting or um, rewarding part of working on, on Cyberpunk City so far? Mm -hmm. So uh, the exciting thing, or the rewarding thing rather, would be that um, I am learning a lot from the community as much as I'm like giving back, mm -hmm. and uh, that that is it's it's a good feeling for me because I told you before that I love to learn and this is my hobby. So uh, my weird hobby again. <laughs> so yeah, so this is for me the most rewarding thing, and uh, for the exciting part, it might be the future um, I mean with the integration of AI and uh, with the possibilities that the metaverse brings I don't yeah. see another way except in the metaverse like I don't see that there's a way that there's no metaverse in the world uh, I mean I I don't want to be 
I don't want to say I am sure that there are going to be metaverse and everywhere. It's like we're going to be in VR glasses. <laughs> but I am sure that the metaverse is going to have some, some kind of place uh, uh, for us, a, a place to be in, to have fun, to yeah. escape from reality if, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, and if you uh, just, uh, as we discussed before, like metaverse is kind of a new concept or it's not well defined yet. So uh, exactly. if you really think about it, we already have different, some kind of metaverses, not, uh, not really in, in the way of, I don't know, uh, blockchain metaverses, but we mm -hmm. have s already some sort of, uh, let's say, uh, parallel universes where we, we kind do. of go and emerge there and spend our, our time there. So yeah. uh, I think metaverse uh, will, I mean, you can think of metaverse uh, using uh, I don't know, VR, uh, AR, uh, being mobile-based, browser-based, uh, PC-based, mm -hmm. or uh, I think um, people will play with with this concept a lot in, in the the next yeah. years, and uh, we'll we'll yeah. see where it where it goes. So okay. um, yeah. So what's in your opinion um, the most significant advantage of building Cyberpunk City on, on Multiverse X? You you've mm -hmm. been with the team for for a few months now, and uh, you kind of, I don't know, align with, with the vision or with what, why they choose Multiverse X, and um, what's the <laughs> biggest advantage of building a project here? Well, for building a metaverse, you, uh, you need, uh, like, mainly, mainly two or three things that, uh, that I saw that that import that are important for the for the metaverse. One to be is the the uptime for multiverse X is really high, mm -hmm. um, and the the transaction fees are really low. Plus, the response time is uh, is also great. So these things are great for the metaverse. You don't want to be uh, uh, playing a, a game or you're inside the metaverse and then immediately you're like just out you're just <laughs> you know that's that's yeah. not a fun experience Bending and, transaction <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. exactly like yeah. yeah yeah wait for five minutes and <laughs> and then it hits you yeah. with a fifty dollar uh, fee <laughs> yeah that's not something that i yeah. would want to have in a metaverse Yep. And uh, b being so, like for Multiverse X, made the choice easier, or let's say easy. And I think that was the reason why the co-founders uh, chose mm -hmm. uh, the yep. Multiverse X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. These are the two things that I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Uh, in indeed, I agree. Like, I think Multiverse X has great technology for. Uh, building metaverses and uh, web three uh, uh, games um, and we already start to see great projects uh, going that that route mm -hmm. um, and now i mean we we talked about the good parts but I, i'm also interested in uh kind of the the challenges that you you guys encountered while uh, building the, the project on, mm -hmm. on multiverse x well um I, I have like three, three main challenges that I can talk about, mm -hmm. but um, I, I will start with the first one, which I don't know much about. I mean, the MVP was a challenging part for Cyberpunk mm -hmm. City uh, on the X day, but at that time I wasn't part of the team. So uh, like from, my, from what I heard from the team, it was uh, really challenging to, um, like to come to the Multiverse X or to the X Day and uh, have an, a, a, a product or have a, an MVP mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is I, suitable I for that. Tried it, uh, actually. On, on yeah, <laughs> uh, they, they told me. Uh, and yeah. and Haidu and Gencher, they told me to say hi to you. And, <laughs> hi. Yeah, uh, because they uh, saw you and you guys... Uh, 
you know, we're together, so uh, they know you. But at that time, I wasn't there. I didn't even come to the X day. And uh, yeah, so that's the first uh, challenge. The second, uh, by the way, uh, you should uh, also tr try maybe the uh, the new product. Uh, yeah. You will be surprised how far it went uh, when the alpha release comes. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah, yeah sure. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, no, I wanted to say that now I, I'll be able to compare it with uh, where it was like uh, six or seven months exactly. ago. Exactly, so. exactly, yeah. exactly. And the, the uh, second thing would be the Wallet Connect. So, mm -hmm. um, so Wallet Connect with a uh, not with a with a with like some browser-based uh, metaverses or games. It's it, I wouldn't say it's easy to like it's easy to uh, integrate the Wallet Connect, but uh, you you probably know much more about this. Uh, I think it's easier, like a lot easier, to integrate the Wallet Connect with the browser-based uh, that rather than the the hardware-based, let's say, um, metaverse. So we have done that. We have integrated the Wallet Connect version two. But before that, um, there was the Wild Connect version one, and then it was decided to be upgraded, and then we had to go with it. And after spending all that time, we had to spend another like around mm -hmm. 100. The the team calculated this 190 <laughs> plus hours. You you developers have some weird things that you do, like <laughs> calculate minutes or hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, probably it's, it's easier with browser-based ones there because uh, there are already implemented uh, versions of of it, so you can just, I don't know, uh, take it and then use it. But uh, indeed, we also have some things that we uh, built from, from scratch uh, for mm -hmm. us. So we need to uh, go and, I don't know, update all of all of those so uh, yeah I mean it's 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 a challenge because you need to I don't know keep working on the product but also on the side uh, it's a lot of work maintenance work or mm -hmm. I don't know, upgrading mm -hmm. different stuff and keeping everything up to date uh, but uh, yeah I mean <laughs> it is what uh, what it is yeah uh, um, like as I said you you understand uh, uh, these things better because you you are a developer yourself and uh, yeah yeah and uh, yeah well the third thing I would say is that the uh, the cyber listing uh, like it was listed on uh, mm -hmm. on X exchange and that was uh, uh, also a little hard because we had to deal with uh, lots of uh, things and papers and uh, KYCs and uh, you know whatever it follows to uh, to achieve a smooth and uh, and and good listing mm -hmm. and I think we we did that so yeah this is the third milestone uh, mm -hmm. yeah 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 that's that's insightful <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what would be, in your opinion, the one thing that's missing right now from the ecosystem and will help help uh, push things forward uh, a lot? Like, if you would just add or implement one one single thing. Okay. So, uh, it, it's hard to pinpoint exactly one thing, but uh, maybe maybe the the ecosystem need more awareness like i don't know how much you agree with that uh we need more people to know about the uh multiverse x we need more people to know about the project around it and we need really really solid and good projects to promote that knowledge mm -hmm. So yeah, that's if that's the single thing, then yeah, awareness would be the most important yeah. thing for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I of course I, I agree. And uh, for example, be us with all that we do, we try to I don't know, help uh, 
a little as, as much as we, we can, even with, with the podcast or, I don't know, uh, with different uh, open source resources that we mm -hmm. publish. We, I don't know, try to help projects or uh, builders or, uh, I don't know, uh, people joining the, the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I totally agree. And I think it's, it's a process. And, for example, if I look just, I don't know, back one, one and a half years ago, for example, I think a lot of things uh, changed like I don't know more more projects the quality of the products is 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 way better mm -hmm. um, so I think we are kind of a, on a on a good good path yeah. but uh, I mean the, the ecosystem is new and I think it's kind of some kind of uh, a snowball that's rolling and it's becoming exactly. bigger and bigger and uh, bigger bigger changes will uh, will come in a short period of, of time from, from now hopefully sure. yes yeah so um, we we've talked about the metaverses but I'm also curious to learn like what ways do you see uh, AI and virtual uh, VR uh, technologies like contribute to the development and uh, enhancement of, of the metaverse experience hmm. uh, well uh, I, I have been listening to uh, to Elon Musk a lot lately <laughs> and uh, every time I go from work and go home I listen to uh, Elon Musk I listen to AI related stuff and uh, the things that there are really interesting for me and uh, I think the AI will have a really huge part in the in, in cyberpunk city um, we will start first implementing the AI uh, with the with the NPCs probably, and uh, it's it's better to get some smart NPCs instead of like playing games like uh, like GTA and uh, someone will bump into you or I don't know act weirdly or say some random stuff. Yeah, so smart NPCs would be a great idea to have. And also we have like a few partners and um, uh, we have a we have some buildings for a few partners and mm -hmm. those buildings um, for example we have a building for Hatom in our metaverse which is one of our partner partners and for example we have Proteo as one of our partners mm -hmm. and the list goes on but let's say that you are in um, and Proteo, and uh, there's an NPC there, and the NPC, you, you go to the NPC and you ask that character, um, sort of speak, to answer some of your questions about Proteo, and then mm -hmm. this NPC is trained to answer mm -hmm. about farms, yeah. about the, mm -hmm. whatever you want to ask, about yeah. the team, about anything, and then you would... Uh, leave the metaverse satisfied and with some information that you couldn't have gotten easily mm -hmm. by yourself. Yeah. yeah. So this is the sec the first thing, the um, the AI. The second thing would be to uh, integrate VR, which me personally I don't like. To <laughs> like I I don't really like the idea to have like glasses on your face like this and walking the street. Yeah. But we might integrate VR um, in the future as well. And um, it has its advantages, of course. Like uh, for a really nice social socialization, like if you want to sit with somebody, like imagine we are sitting me and you right now, and it would feel like we are having yeah. a real conversation. Instead of me looking at an angle and not directly making my eye yep. contact it would look more like we're having some exact like 100 percent eye contact now if i want to look at your face i have to look at your face but if i want to look at the camera then i have to look <laughs> at the camera which I, it's impossible to do yeah. so yeah with the vr it would be much more easier to you know create that yep. environment yeah yeah i mean i i agree with with what you say and regarding like vr uh if we look at uh, i mean if we kind of look at the reality 
VR technology is not in everyone's home yet, so it's not like, mm -hmm. I don't know, everyone has a mobile phone and not everyone has a VR headset and they mm -hmm. are pretty expensive right now, so it's not like everyone can, can afford it really. Um, so it won't like become very, I mean, mainstream overnight because, mm -hmm. yeah, no, not everyone has a set of VR at home, but uh, I think, as you said, like it has its advantages and uh, it creates a way more immersive experience rather than, I don't know, uh, playing a video game with your TV. So, exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, well, have you seen the, uh, the uh, Starlink project, Google project Star Starlink? Um, it's it's really exciting. Like uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a, something like a booth where you talk with another person, and it's it's not a hologram, it's not a video call. It's something that is hard to explain. Like you're sitting in front of a a per, like you're like a monitor or like a booth, and you're sitting inside it, and then there's like a person in front of you in that monitor, and then. Mm -hmm. When you talk to them, you feel that you can literally touch them. I, I, there's a video for uh, Marquez Brownlee about this, uh, MKBHD, mm -hmm. if you know that person. Yeah. And yeah. He's, he's a great YouTuber. He yeah. made a video about that recently and it got me hooked. I was like, oh, we should <laughs> use that in the metaverse, you know. <laughs> I don't know how in the future, yeah. like we can't be in a booth all the time, but the technology can provide another dimension to that yeah yeah, yeah i mean for, for sure we there are like exciting times ahead and uh, things like move so fast right now and uh, people are like i don't know having breakthroughs in in so many directions that it's hard to like uh, keep up with yeah. with everything that's developing and exactly researching and, exactly and, yeah but it's nice that uh, things like start to come together, for example, AI with, with blockchain, because I think there are really, really great uh, use cases of kind of merging the, the two, te two technologies together. Mm -hmm. So I, like, I'm very excited for, for what's coming in, in the here. next year. Same here. Yeah. 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 So um, how do you see like the ecosystem changing in in the next uh, let's say for example six six months because uh you've been here uh, for around like six months so maybe try to compare that uh, with where do you see the ecosystem uh going in the next six months well uh, uh since like uh, like around the day i came uh it was elrond and uh mm -hmm. Uh, now with Multiverse X, I don't see there is another name change. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. Uh, but uh, I see. Uh, it, well, it's hard to guess, but with uh, X Money, with uh, X Fabric, with uh, with X World, it's it's really hard to guess. It's it's really really hard to guess. But for me, I hope it goes the metaverse way. And I think it will, uh, like Gamify and Metaverse Way, because it's it's in the name. I mean, it's uh, Multiverse X, right? So, I mean, yeah, this is my thought about this. Yeah, I mean, the Multiverse can have so many, like, meanings and, and ways, ways of, of looking at it. But for sure, I think, like, uh, the gaming part and the Met Metaverse part, I'm sure, will, will play a very big role. Role yeah. in in the ecosystem. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, I think we we had a very nice conversation so far, and uh, I'm glad we we had a chance to uh, dive into the project uh, a little deeper. Um, it, it's great with with this podcast series to uh, learn more about the project and uh, about their journey. Uh, it it helps a lot to, to spread awareness uh, across the ecosystem and to uh, motivate other builders to uh, uh, start building in these times and to uh, push harder. So uh, it's thanks a lot for uh, for the time. Thank and, you for uh, having me. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, so um, one last 
ending question I have for you. Sure. Um, do you have any advice for uh, projects interested in building on, on Multiverse X? Yeah, well, um, uh, this, is, this is something that uh, I learned from Eren. He's one of our developer, uh, developers. And uh, I, I wrote that somewhere. Like, uh, um, it's, it's a, like a three-part advice. And he says, uh, we learned from small independent game companies uh, that you have to love and uh, to love what you do in order to be successful. So small companies, um, they take this approach. If they don't love that what they do, then they vanish over time. Yeah. And, and the second, because, you know, uh, to be honest, like small companies wouldn't have like the financial, uh, like power most of the times to continue. But with loving your project, it's always um, I, like, yeah. It's always a a motivator to continue, and we learn from uh, uh, successful or um, early access game uh, companies that uh, you have to be dedicated to what you do. So if you're dedicated, if you're uh, doing sleepless nights, then <laughs> you're you're on the right way. And uh, you should also care about your project and about your audience. This is from um, early access games. But for the last one is, uh, is also a good one, is we learned from big game projects um, that in order to achieve something big and, and beautiful, you need to spend a lot of time on it. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. These, are, these are the, the, the biggest... Uh, three advices that I uh, I have I couldn't memorize the uh, or remember who said who because they are intricate but I know the gist <laughs> of it so I had to write it yeah. so yeah that's the advice yeah I think it's it's great and I totally agree with you uh, I mean also from from experience that indeed you you need to love what you do especially uh, I mean in in a small small company because it's it's a lot of effort and you need to find that motivation to continue uh, pushing and uh, and building. So if you don't love what you do, it, it's very hard to yeah to find that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So uh, thanks a lot for for the time, Jack. And uh, I'm sure people will will love to uh, to to watch the podcast. Uh, Thank you, Thanks Rosal. again, and uh, yeah. Uh, you we'll, too. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.